The man accused of killing a seven-year-old girl from Kentucky was back in court today. Prosecutors were supposed to present evidence that links Timothy Madden to Gabby, Gabby Doolin's death, but that never happened. News Channel 5's Chris Conti is live outside the Allen County Judicial Center in Scottsville. So, Chris, why the delay today? Well, Carrie, the delay was over a DNA report. That DNA report was handed over by the prosecution to Timothy Madden's attorney late this afternoon. It was a DNA report that was apparently completed the day that the 38-year-old was charged with Gabby Doolin's death. And because his attorney had so little time to review it, he said he just wasn't ready for today's preliminary hearing. To weigh the time contemplated by criminal rule 3.10, and to pass this matter for a brief period of time to permit uh, his defense to try to digest the information contained within this report, allow me to do my due diligence, uh, to speak with my client, uh, to prepare better for the preliminary hearing. Now, this was not a very lengthy hearing, but still a very emotional one for the Doolin family. Gabby's mom, Amy, and her dad, Brian, sat in the front row. Their heavy hearts clearly visible on their faces. Both were wearing pink ribbons on their shirts. Pink, of course, was Gabby's favorite color. As for the man who police say murdered and sexually assaulted their daughter, we also learned that there may be some surveillance video showing him the night of the crime that could possibly shed some more light on his whereabouts the evening that Gabby disappeared. Obviously, the preliminary hearing is a very important uh, stage in, the, in due process. Uh, it is an opportunity uh, for the defendant to hear what evidence the Commonwealth relies upon uh, to support his continued detention. So, so what's next here? The state could actually have a grand jury indict Timothy Madden before the preliminary hearing that is now scheduled for December 14th, and then this whole process would begin anew. We're live in Scottsville, Kentucky this evening. Chris Conti, News Channel 5.